man at the center of a controversial confrontation in Royal Oak is speaking to 7 Action News. A video on Facebook Live shows police questioning a 20-year-old 20, uh, 20 African-American man. And he says police were asking him why he was looking suspiciously at a white woman. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is joining us live this morning with more on this. And Ali, we hear that the man is meeting with police today. That's right. According to Devin Myers, he says he and his attorney have a meeting with Royal Oak Police today to talk about this controversial moment now going viral. I am in Royal Oak, Michigan. I was um, going to the CBS over here when this young man is stopped because a Caucasian lady said that he looked at her suspiciously and he has been pulled over walking to go to eat by two police officers for suspicion of being black. It was a bystander who took this video. The man at the center of the video, Devin Myers, says four officers responded. He says the officers demanded to see his ID. Myers says the owner of In Season Cafe, where the incident happened, also advocated on his behalf to the officers. I need to make that like a warning sign for you. Look, don't stare too long. No, don't be black and stare. I never would have thought racism was amongst the urban city because I have tons of white neighbors and they all like me. So that's, I've never really paid racism that much attention. The mayor of Royal Oak did send us a statement reading in part, we are passionate about being a city that lives and acts according to our values and one where all people from all walks of life, from all racial and ethnic backgrounds feel not just safe, but welcome and embraced as members of our community. Royal Oak Police declined an on-camera interview, but did confirm with us that they have an internal investigation at this point. If you'd like to read that full statement from the mayor, you can visit our website at WXYC.com. Ali Hoxie, 7 Action News. Hello, this is Kamiko, and I am in Royal Oak, Michigan. I was um, going to the CBS over here when this young man is stopped because a Caucasian lady said that he looked at her suspiciously and he has been pulled over walking to go to eat by two police officers for suspicion of being black and looking at the Caucasian woman. He'd been stopped for looking at the Caucasian woman in Royal Oak, Michigan. They got him surrounded. So I'm not gonna leave the brother out here. That's what I'm trying to By the way, I'm sorry for wasting you guys time. Maybe I can get a bill out of your ass. What time do you guys go? He tried to get something to eat. He on the situation, and the lady is over there in her car, in the white car, with her window rolled down. She said the brother looks suspicious, and she called the police on him. And they got him surrounded. So we called I mean, for a supervisor you know, you know, one, of Royal Oak. Don't like him Terrible. Royal Oak. Don't be black. Do not look at somebody of a different color in Royal Oak, Michigan, because they will call the police. They got all the people out here looking at them. Once Reconstruction ended, the people who were in charge of the South before the Civil War slowly started to regain power. And these people were not happy that their slaves were now freedmen. And so they began to pass a number of laws known as the Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow was the name of a popular minstrel show and a minstrel show was a performance that made fun of black people. And on your screen right now, you're seeing an example of a minstrel show from the 1940s.
the Jim Crow laws were designed to isolate African Americans and place them in an inferior position compared to white people. This was the beginning of segregation in the post-Civil War South. In many Southern churches, people were taught that whites were the chosen people and that blacks were cursed. Here's some examples of Jim Crow laws. A black male and a white male could not shake hands because it implied that both were socially equal. Blacks and whites were not supposed to eat together. Now, if they did eat together, whites were to be served first and some sort of partition was to be placed between them. And under no circumstances was a black male to offer to light a cigarette of a white female. Whites did not use courtesy titles of respect when referring to blacks. For example, Mr., Mrs., Miss, Sir, or Ma'am. Now, instead, black people were called by their first name or some sort of derogatory term. White motorists had the right of way at all intersections. And lastly, if a black person rode in a car driven by a white person, the black person had to sit in the back seat or the back of a truck. Although it is perfectly clear that this is a violation of civil rights, the Supreme Court ruled the Jim Crow laws were constitutional in the Plessy versus Ferguson decision of 1896. Now, it wouldn't be until the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s that the Jim Crow laws would be recognized as illegal.